Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Outstanding. Oh, my goodness. You hear my kitty cat? I think he wants to sample some international beers as well. Kitty cats don't drink beer, you silly boy. <laughs> now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have a beer right here, Prestige Brewing Company. Now I'm a little confused about this beer. It says up here, Pride of Haiti, but down here it says brewed in Holland. Oh, I'm going to have to check some more into this, but it says imported lager beer, so I'm sure it's brewed in Holland. And I wrote down here, it's 5.6% alcohol by volume. So we're going to go ahead and pop the cap now. What do you want, you little boy? Listen to him. Oh, my goodness. The little boy. Kitty cats don't drink beer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Kitty, I have another cat who uh, put her nose into the beer one day, and she didn't like it too much. <laughs> she shook her head. Prestige. Yeah, I don't have that bottle cap. But, um, hey, we're going to check this out. We're going to think good thoughts for the beer. It's brewed in Holland, but it's the pride of Haiti. We're going to go ahead and use this uh, small glass here because it's a short squat beer. And, uh, oh, it's a light color, isn't it? Look at that thing. That is super light. Well carbonated, though, I'll tell you that. That is super light. That is an extremely light golden color with quite a bit, oh, my goodness, <laughs> quite a bit of foam on there. And um, well, let's see what the aroma is all about. Now, this is right from the refrigerator, so I'm not picking up a whole lot on the aroma. When a beer is cold, and I'm talking about less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit, mm, less less than really about 7 degrees um, Celsius, you're not going to pick up a lot of aromas. Now, it is lightly carbonated, I'll say that. Let's go ahead and drink the beer. But before we do, we're going to thank the brewers apparently in Holland for uh, brewing this beer for the people in Haiti. Interesting. Yeah, I guess they don't have any brewing facilities in Haiti. I'm not sure. Anyway, cheers to everybody. No doubt. Surprisingly, that beer is pretty darn good. Yeah, I was expecting a pretty sweet beer here, but it's not. It's not sweet at all. A little bit of graininess in the aroma, but the flavor, although while it's muted because it's so cold, is not bad at all. Yeah, a slight sweetness to the uh, finish on the beer, but it is quite drinkable. It's not offensive to me in one little bit, which is what I'd really look for in a beer like this. Because when you get a beer from... I don't want to say third world countries, but when you get a beer from uh, countries that don't have a modern infrastructure, you never know what you're going to get. But again, this beer is brewed in Holland, according to the label, and uh, Holland makes some fine beers. Man, I'm telling you, they, they got some great beers out of Holland. Grolsch is one of them. If you never had Grolsch, you should try it out. Now, that head is really solid. It's not going anywhere. It's a pretty solid head. It's leaving some lacing on the side of the glass. To me, that indicates it's a well-crafted beer. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this beer. This beer is not offensive to me at all. It's not uh, sweet. As a lot of lagers are. A lot of lagers... Are, are very sweet and they're undrinkable to me unless you keep them ice cold. Now, I don't know who brews this beer. I'm going to find out who brews it 
But uh, apparently it's not by one of the big conglomerates. If it's brewed in Holland, it's not one of the big conglomerates. But it is crystal golden clear. Yeah, crystal golden clear. And it does have some carbonation flowing up from the bottom. Uh, man, it's just a it's just a great refreshing beer to have in the summertime, or really any time of year, especially in Haiti, though. Man, they got some hot weather down there, hot and humid, baby. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that beer. It's a light bodied beer with a light mouthfeel and light carbonation. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with the beer. Yeah, you should never be put off by a beer just because of the region of the world where it comes from. But like I said, it says brewed in Holland, and then it says the pride of Haiti up here, which is confusing to me and I'm sure a lot of other people. But I'll get to the bottom of it. I'll look up and find out what the deal is with that beer. But in the meantime... I can't find anything off-putting about this beer. I got to recommend it because it's a light-bodied beer. It's a a decent beer, and it's something that you would want to drink on a hot summer day, no doubt. Like I said, in Haiti, this is probably the number one beer. And what did I say the alcohol was? The alcohol is a bit high, five point six percent. That's a little bit high for a lager, but hey, it is what it is. There you go. Oh, we just got a little bit left there. Now it's all in. Yeah, look at that, man. It's it's um uh, it's a light golden beer and it's very uh, easy to drink. What else do you want in a beer? That's what a beer is all about. Light drinking, decent taste. Man, it, it refreshes you. That's what you want, right? Uh the hops and the malts are very light in this beer, but they mix well. They blend well together to give you a decent taste. Yeah, what else can I tell you? Life is short, my friends. Let's be happy. Hey, you know what? Give this beer a try. You may like it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not offensive at all. I tell you what, it's a lot better than some of the American macro lagers because the American macro lagers to me are horribly sweet. Mm. I don't know why anybody would want to drink a sweet beer. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Anyway, to each his or her own. Well, drink whatever you like. You know, life is too short for all that. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they it, it charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. 
Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month, and there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, You know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mmm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh to have those made, so I would sell them at the same price now. I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back so but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested but uh like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.